Hello, I'm Dr. Lewis Heiser of the Heiser Clinic. Welcome to the Heiser Clinic podcast. You know, you don't always have uh, the ability to go to a gym. And when you don't have a gym or you're traveling, uh, you can still get in a good workout. We found that these uh, rubber bands that we use uh, can give an a excellent workout and you can take them with you. Chris Thompson, our director of programs, has come up with a dynamite band workout here at the clinic. So let's get going and uh, we'll use these bands. Hi, welcome to another edition of a Heiser Clinic podcast. I'm Chris Thompson, the program director here at the Heiser Clinic, joined by Patrick Smalley, one of our elite trainers here at the Heiser Clinic. Today, we're gonna work with some resistance bands. We're gonna show you how you can get a great workout in without all the fancy gym equipment, the machines, the dumbbells. We're gonna show you how you can get the most out of it with just these simple resistance bands. If you're working at home or if you're going on a vacation, these can easily fit in your suitcase to take with you to keep that muscular strength going through your vacation. So what we're gonna do today is show you a total body workout. If you get a set of bands, make sure to get a light band, a medium band, and a heavy band because all the different exercises we're doing with this total body workout, some of them are tougher than others. So you might need a light or you may need a heavy band. We're gonna go through from the top of our body, work into the bottom of our body, we're gonna show you exercises when you're standing on the band, and we're gonna show you some exercises when you have the band anchored to a door or the foot of a bed, something that's not gonna come flying at you. All right, Patrick's gonna get in. We're gonna to go to 12 repetitions on all these exercises. Some of them he's using the heavy band, some with a light band. We're gonna start out with a bicep curl. Patrick going into the bicep curl. He's using a heavy band here. Notice the thickness of the band. It's a heavy blue band. Really squeezing these bicep muscles as he comes up to the top. Exhaling as he comes to the top to complete the curl. Real good. Now show him a few hammer curls, Patrick. Turning his palms inward. It's a little tough with the band, but this one's focusing more on the forearms as well as the biceps. Couple more, getting tough there. And now for a reverse curl. Reverse curl, very difficult movement. It's working the top of his forearms. Most people, normal people, couldn't handle this much resistance with a reverse curl. You can see even this guy is starting to strain a little bit. How's it feel, Pat? Very tough. Very tough. So main emphasis on the forearms, also working those biceps. How many is that? A couple more? Nine. <clears throat> Squeeze and keep breathing throughout. Keep that blood Eleven. pressure from spiking. And 12. All right, let's switch to a lighter band. We just worked the front of the arm. Now we're gonna work the back of the arm, our triceps. So Patrick's gonna grab a step down on the bands. Overhead extension with the tricep. Taking it up behind and go. He's keeping his elbows close into his head. Really squeezing, working those triceps. Nice extension. Remember to exhale as you push to the top. Exhale up and through. I already see some sweat starting to form on the forehead here. Yeah, it's hot in here. A lot of people think these bands are easy, but they can give you a really good workout. Check out these muscles. All right, from the tricep, we're gonna go into a shoulder press. Working similar areas, but right on these shoulders and go. This move's a little easier, so you could go back to a heavier band or you could stay with this medium band. He's pushing straight up, exhaling with the push. Posture's perfect, straight up and down. He's not pushing his hips forward like you'll sometimes see with poor technique. Very good, let's get a couple more. And great. Now to work the front and the side of the shoulders. He's gonna need a lighter band because we're working small muscle groups here. Just side and the front of the shoulder. We're gonna do a front and side raise, alternating directions. Looking good. Notice this band is the skinniest of all and he's really focusing on the sides and the fronts of those deltoid muscles. Never forgetting to breathe, keeping his core nice and solid throughout to maintain that posture. How's that feeling, Patrick? Good, Chris. Feeling Starting good. Going on. He's Couple getting some sets. lactic acid going here. 
Notice there's no rest in between these sets, so we're keeping that muscular endurance factor going. We really want to get the, the burn going. That's going to help you burn calories at the same time as building muscle. Now let's go into reverse fly. Crisscross those handles from a bent over position. We hit the front and the side of the shoulder. This is focusing on the back of the shoulder, the most neglected area of the upper body when people are working out. How many times have you worked out your rear deltoid, your rear shoulder? Not too often. This is a real simple move. It takes a light weight to really squeeze those deltoids back at the top. Feeling the back of those shoulders, Pat? Yes, I am. Perfect. All right, let's go back into a medium band for a seesaw press. Those of you who want, to, who want to tone those edges of your core, a seesaw press is a great move that's really going to hit those oblique muscles. He's going to start with the bands above his shoulders, and notice he's leaning away from the press. So he's feeling a big stretch in the side that he's leaning away from, right through there, really stretching and working those obliques. More emphasis should be placed on the obliques here than on the shoulders. Feel like you're supporting it with your sides. Feel that stretch? Yes. Sweating a little bit more. Let's go into an upright row. Working the top of these traps. You can do it like so, or you can crisscross the handles. It gives you a little more tension. Perfect. This one's hitting the upper trap muscles. If you're a football player, it's a great move. Or if you're just a regular old person, great move to strengthen these areas we're often tight and achy with. Strengthen those traps. All right, let's go into a squat, something for the legs. We don't want to leave the legs out of it. He's going to bring the bands up to his shoulders and drop into a squat. Notice the good position. His knees are staying, tracking right over his feet. He's sitting back as if he were sitting in an invisible chair. All the tension's going into his thighs, staying away from his kneecaps. We never want to have the squatting where your knees are going straight forward. You always want to sit back in an invisible chair just like Patrick's doing. Down and deep. All right, now a side step. Working the outer legs, the outside of the thighs and the hips. Real simple move, be careful. I've seen more than one person fall and trip while they're doing this. So do it nice and slowly. How's that feeling? You feel it yet? Yes, yeah, feel it in my outer thighs. This one's a lot tougher than it looks. He's feeling it for sure right there. Back and forth. He's got steady steps, no falling here. And we'll finish with one more on our back to further work those outer thighs. He's gonna place the band around his shoes. Make sure it's in the middle of your shoes, not up by the toes where it's gonna come off and smack you in the, the face. And he's working the outer thighs. All those fancy leg abduction machines, thousands of dollars. Here's one for $20 right here. Just as good, if not better. All right, super, and hopping up.